is general reading. This may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Okay. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles, okay? A lot of holding back, a lot of holding back. Someone's in a state of shutdown. Someone's completely resisting uh, the connection, I'm assuming. But they want forward movement with the Six of Wands here, all right? We have the Six of Wands with the Four of Pentacles. So someone wants to move forward with you. Someone wants uh, public recognition with you. They want victory with you. But they're holding back. Very stubborn energy. Very stubborn energy. All right. This could be you, Capricorn, or it could be another fellow Earth sign that you're dealing with. Okay. So it's holding back, and uh, this could be holding back uh, their um, communication. Could be holding back their feelings. But this is just someone who is blocking their heart chakra. All right. Okay. What happened in the past with the star here? I'm feeling that. Um, there's a lot of healing here, okay? With the star here, there could be a wish that came through, okay? But more than wish fulfillment, I'm feeling that you, this is someone who has hope and faith in a connection, okay? Something, someone had belief in divine time here, okay? This is a very divine connection. Coming to the current moment, we have the Knight of Cups here, okay? So someone is wanting to come in and express their feelings. They're wanting to be vulnerable. They're wanting to come forward and sweep you off your feet, okay? Someone wants to be open very emotionally and they want to offer you their cup of love, okay? Someone's coming in with an offer of love. What's influencing the situation is the Seven of Swords here, okay? So I'm feeling more than being deceptive. Yes, the Seven of Swords is a very sneaky and deceptive energy. Could be. But I'm not getting it more in the negative sense, okay? I'm getting that this is someone here who's wanting to do this very, very sneaky, okay? It's someone who's being, who's strategizing their moves instead of just coming in and offering this to you. They're being very strategic, okay? And with the Seven of Swords here, it could also mean that this person wants to express their feelings, but they're holding back from you, okay? Because that's the overall energy, okay? So this is someone, this is probably how someone can be operating, okay? That's just how they are. They withhold a lot of information. That's why they get a rep of being very deceptive and sneaky, okay? Uh, but um, I'm not getting a bad negative energy here. I'm just getting someone who is not very comfortable um, opening up emotionally, but they want to, okay? What's on your mind with the temperance here? I feel you're being very cool, calm, and collected, Okay. There could be a situation which could have involved a lot of drama and it could have disturbed your peace. Okay, so right now with the temperance here, I feel that uh, you're doing everything and anything to keep yourself away from anything that is disturbing your peace. Okay, I'm hearing if it costs you your peace, it's not worth it. That's what you're doing. The reason for the reading or the root of the issue or whatever, why this is happening is because it's six of swords here, okay? So this could be a situation where someone could have resisted change for a very long time, okay? But now, this is what you don't see coming. With the six of swords here, if your relationship was going through a lot of turmoil, a lot of um, um, a lot of issues, a lot of fights, arguments, etc. If you guys are just not on the same page, you guys are going to be on the same page very soon, okay? With the six of swords here, I'm feeling that you're going to get a peaceful resolution to whatever issues are happening between you and the person you're dealing with. However, in the near future with the hangman here, I feel hangman in reverse. I feel that someone's very stuck in their ways, okay? I'm getting a little stubborn energy here, okay? Doesn't look like releasing so much, but yes, it could also mean that if someone had kept things on hold for a very long time, they're finally coming out of that uh, stagnant energy and they're ready to take action, okay? Someone could be overthinking this situation or could have given it a break before they take action. So yeah, probably someone is ready to take action now. What you're doing is the page of pentacles, okay? So you're probably wanting communication or you want to communicate with someone but with the page of pentacles here. This is an immature energy, okay? Not the best energy that you want in a, a, a love connection. But the page of pentacles is offering an olive branch, okay? It's almost like, again, more of a peaceful resolution, like let's talk, let's know what's happening. But uh, the page of pentacles is also offering something stable, something committed, okay? Something that holds value. That's the best part of it. But the page of pentacles is also, you know, someone who's trying to give something a brand new approach, okay? They want to, uh, they're not going to have the same old approach. They're trying to see things from a different perspective, okay? Which is also um, not a bad idea, which is good. 
with the knight of swords in reverse here what is in your environment is someone who wants to rush in okay but they're holding back this is someone who probably is um this could be someone who usually has a habit of jumping into conclusions or jumping into an opportunity okay they could probably just every single time you talk to them they're very very um aggressive very impulsive very reckless but this time they're holding back okay they're holding back communication that's why there's a lack of forward movement here okay so i think this is what your person is doing with the four of pentacles here this is someone who wants to rush in they want to talk they want to express their feelings but with the seven of swords here they're being a little deceptive okay they're trying to sneak away they're trying to get away with this okay but I don't think it's going to work for very long. In your emotions is the three of pentacles, okay? You want to build with this person. You want to uh, grow with this person. You want commitment with this person. You want to grow from scratch, okay? You want to make your foundation strong and you're ready to be with this person and build with them and be on the same page with this person, okay? With your likely outcome here with the five of cups in reverse here, I think you're moving forward. More than moving forward, I feel you're getting over any kind of heartbreak and heart pain that had caused you before. Or this is more like moving forward and not crying over spilled milk anymore. Okay. All right. Let's clarify. Clarify the Four of Pentacles as the overall energy. Why is the Four of Pentacles here as the overall energy? Please, for my Capricorn. Clarify the Four of Pentacles, please. Wow, a lot of holding back, a lot of holding back. We have the seven of swords and we have the four of swords. Okay, so you could be at a break with this person. You could be on a break with this person. There's dead silence. There's a lack of communication. No communication or very minimal communication, okay? But at the same time with the seven of swords, I feel this person is definitely avoiding communication with you, okay? This person is trying to be sneaky and trying to get away with this, but not for very long, okay? This person is completely trying to... Um, uh, run away and avoid it, ignore this communication as much as they can, okay? Again, because with the Four of Pentacles here, they are holding back. Could be this person is coming from a place of an ego, okay? Maybe this person is very egoistic. The Seven of Pentacles came out, okay? Maybe this person is giving this a thought, okay? They're probably giving it a lot of thought of whether they want to continue investing in this relationship or not, okay? Because this definitely looks like a long-term investment, long-term connection to me. And now they're just waiting for the fruits of the labor. Another thing that I'm getting is also probably this person is waiting for you to communicate, okay? Because the Seven of Pentacles is a lot of waiting energy, okay? So probably this person is probably waiting back to see if you're as interested as you were before or if you're going to put in, come forward and put in the effort. What is this Knight of Cups? What is this Knight of Cups? Clap for the Knight of Cups. Say, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands here, okay? This person wants commitment with you. They're coming in to offer this commitment to you. They want something solid, stable, committed to you. With the Ace of Pentacles, it's a very small offer, but it has the potential to grow very, very big. However, with the Knight of Wands here, this is the issue here. This is why this person is being so sneaky because they're very, very guarded. Their walls are very high up, okay? This person I'm getting has a lot of trust issues, very, a big time trust issues, okay? This person could be very, very careful about every single step that they're, that they're taking towards you. Could be a past relationship where they were very, very hurt or could be the same relationship right now where you, they have been deceived before and now they want to be very careful, okay? They're, I'm, I'm hearing, I don't want to be a fool again or I don't want to look like a fool. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, clap with the seven of swords. Clap for the seven of swords. We have the seven of cups and the ace of swords in reverse. Okay, so either this person could have had a lot of options, they could have kept their options open in the past. Okay, with the seven of cups here and with the ace of swords in reverse, I feel someone's keeping from revealing the truth. Okay. Or the second thing I'm getting is that with the Seven of Cups here, there was a lot of confusion, okay? This person could have been emotionally very, very confused, okay? Because probably I'm getting this person couldn't have ever taken a relationship this seriously or they, they, they were really, it's almost like I never planned to fall in love with you, okay? That was not the plan. And now with the Ace of Swords in reverse, this person is holding back information again. 
more of seven of swords holding back this is not that sneaky deceptive energy that you're getting this is more like you know what i want to try and ignore and like if it, it's more like self-sabotaging the connection more like self-denial okay they're trying to they're not trying to look at the feelings that they have for you okay because they were very confused in the past but with the ace of swords in reverse here this is someone who's keeping and trying to control from the truth from coming out okay they're trying to keep the information within themselves and that's why there is a lot of um, confusion and a lot of clouded judgment around you okay clap for the temperance what is the temperance here on your mind Back at the entrance. Why is the temperance here? We have the world and the three of cups. Okay, so you definitely want a reconciliation with this person. You want to chill, you want to hang out with this person. And with the world here, you probably want to start a new cycle with this person. Okay, the world, yes, it is endings, but it is also new beginnings. Okay, so you could have finished successfully finished. Uh, a goal with this person a cycle has successfully ended with this person but with the world here i feel that you're wanting to start a brand new chapter with this person okay and with the three of cups here you want reconciliation with this person at the same time you're being a very very cool calm and collected okay you're, you're being very very patient like i said you have a lot of faith and hope in divine connection and you have faith that at the right time things are going to happen and work out for you which is great which is really awesome actually Okay. Uh, clap with the six of swords. Clap with the six of swords. Wow. You have the ten of pentacles and the justice. So yeah, Capricorn, if you're looking for commitment with this person or wanting commitment from this person, if in the past this person was not ready to offer you commitment or offer you something stable, solid, all right, or if they were not ready to offer you marriage. That's what they're coming in. That's what we don't see here with the Six of Swords. And this person is probably ready to make this transition. They're ready for this change. They're ready to move into calmer waters. They're ready to go into... Um, it's almost like, you know what? The Six of Swords, yes, it is forced departure. But it means it is also a forced change, okay? Where the universe is pushing them to go towards this, okay? And with the justice here, you're getting, okay? This is someone who wants to rectify a situation. They want to make a bad situation good. This is someone who's going to make a very, very logical decision, okay? This is someone who's going to leave out the emotional bias. They're making a logical decision and the logical decision with the Ten of Pentacles here, they're coming towards you with commitment, stability, okay? This is what this person wants here. Clap for the hangman in reverse. Clap for the hangman in... Again. With the Empress in reverse here, and again, we have the Ten of Pentacles here, okay? So I feel that this person, if in the past with the Empress in reverse here, I feel that this person probably, um, we can say it two ways. This person with the Empress in reverse here, I feel this person was not nurturing the connection. They weren't feeding the connection, or they couldn't uh, uh, see a lot of growth and expansion here, or they just didn't want commitment with you, okay? But with the Empress in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles here, and the Hangman in reverse here, now this person is ready to offer you commitment, okay? I feel they're coming out of that thinking mode, they're coming out of that stagnation mode. If they kept things on a hold and you were stuck and you were in a limbo, they kept you in a limbo, they're coming out of that, okay? They're coming in to offer this with you. But with the Empress in reverse here, I just feel that this person is very, very codependent, okay? They're codependent on you. They want you. They need you. All right. Clap for the page of pentacles. Why is the page of pentacles here? I saw this card before also, the Ten of Swords in reverse. Give me one more card for the Page of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Wands. This person wants a brand new, passionate beginning with you, okay? There's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of sexual energy here. But this person is extremely passionate about you. But with the Ace of Wands here, they want a brand new slate. They want a clean slate with you, okay? They want you to forget 
everything that happened in the past and you want to start brand new with you okay with the ten of swords in reverse here this person is getting over any kind of heartbreak any kind of emotional trauma they, this could be someone who were, who felt very backstabbed and betrayed okay but they're coming in okay they're getting over this and along with this they're coming in with a page of pentacles and the ace of swords uh, ace of wands sorry so please expect a message that's going to come in okay but with the Knight of Swords, you're in reverse. I feel you're the one this time who's not going to jump in. You or the person in your environment, maybe this time this person's not going to jump in into this connection with you. Maybe every single time this person did this, it could have been a very in and out connection with the Seven of Swords here. And uh, you could have, every single time this person came in, you'd just like jump into that opportunity. Okay, like, yeah, 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 okay, okay, fine. Like, you know what? You, you like this person could have come, like, you know what? Look, like, I'm really sorry. I'm, look, you know what? I'm really sorry about this. Can we start this again? Can we do this again? Okay. And every single time you could have, you know, without thinking, you would have just jumped in and said yes. Okay. But this time, for the Knight of Swords in reverse, you know, I think you're holding back. You're not going to jump in as soon as this person comes in and offers you something uh, that you wanted. Clap for the Knight of Swords in reverse. Clap for the Knight of Swords in reverse. I think you're going to take your time this time. Clap for the Knight of Swords in reverse. Clap for the Knight of Swords in reverse. Oh. With the chariot in reverse here and the six of cups in reverse here. I feel things are not moving forward. You feel stuck. You feel things are not moving forward or you just feel that, you know what, you have to force this relationship to move forward. With the chariot in reverse here, I also feel that uh, you feel things are just completely out of control. You feel you've lost control over the situation. And with the six of cups in reverse here, I feel you're holding a grudge against this person. The six of cups is a soulmate energy, okay? So you could be dealing with a soulmate but uh, you're holding a grudge against this person. You're holding back because you're clinging on to the bad memories. Okay, you're clinging, on, you have nostalgia for the bad memories. But this person could have really hurt you very badly in the past. Okay, and um, with the chariot in reverse, you feel you lost control of the situation, or you just feel that things are just not moving forward. Okay. I feel you're not jumping into the situation this time. Clap for the um, three of pentacles here. Why is the three of pentacles here in Capricorn's emotions? Why is the three of pentacles here in Capricorn's emotions? Why is the three of pentacles? Okay, if I could just pick up the card, the moon fell off. Clap for the three of pentacles here. Someone has a fear of the unknown. What the hell is going on? The cards keep falling. Commitment. Are you dealing with someone who's commitment phobic? Clap at the three of pentacles here. Clap at the three of pentacles. Give me one more card for the three of pentacles. You're giving this person the silent treatment with the high priestess here and with the six of pentacles in reverse here. You, yes, in your emotions, you want to build with this person, but with the six of pentacles in reverse here, you feel that this is a one-sided situation. You feel you just don't get appreciated for all the hard work that you give given, okay? So I feel with the high priestess here, you're trusting your intuition and you're going to probably want this person to move forward this time and show them and prove their metal to you. That's what I'm feeling. You want to work with them, you want to build with them, you want everything with them. But I think you're going to keep quiet, quiet, and you're going to be almost like the badass and you're going to watch their moves, okay? Because with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, you want to see how reciprocal this person is. I think that's what you want to see. You want to test them. I think it's testing time. You're going to see their efforts. You're going to see how dedicated they are, okay? Or how committed they are in making this thing work out. Clap with the five of cups in reverse for the likely outcome. I think with the two of pentacles in reverse and the empress in reverse here, I don't think you want to give this another chance, okay? You could be very, going very back and forth with this decision, but you finally made your choice and you're dropping the decision of giving this person a second chance. That's why you're moving forward. And with the empress in reverse here, I don't feel you're going to keep this connection. You're not going to give anything to this connection anymore bottom of the deck we have the death here okay so you're ending things with this person 
because with the five of wands here there's too much drama okay you guys just get into a conflict there's a lot of bickering but yeah there's too much drama when it comes to this person here okay too much drama mm. did i try for overall energy yeah i did right all right Capricorn. that's what i have for you and i hope this reading resonates with you let me know in the comments below if this is uh, your reading and please like, share, follow, subscribe. Leave your comments below. If you need a personal reading, the information is going to be down below and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.